Hey guys, welcome back to the fifth video of the SciPy tutorial series. In this video, we'll be learning about interpolation in SciPy. So firstly, we'll have to import NumPy as well as matplotlib. And then for this tutorial, we'll need to generate some data. So here I have generated X values using NumPy and Y values. So I just listed out a few random values here. So this will be our data set. And then I'll simply plot my data set here. Okay, so let's just run the code. And you can see that this is how our data set looks like. There are basically two dimensional points and the values first are very high, then they go down slowly, then they drop, then they go back up, then they go down and then back up. So this is how our data looks like. Uh, so it looks a little bit of random, but there are a few patterns like you could draw maybe a curve like this as I'm tracing my mouse. And yeah, so this is our data set. Okay, so I'll just comment that out because I don't want to plot that anymore. Okay. So interpolation is basically the process of finding the value uh, of a point between two given values. So here you can see that the x values will be integers. So maybe x is 3 and then 4. But what if we want the value where x is equal to 3.5? We want to find the y value of that, right? So we can use interpolation to do that. So what interpolation will do is that it'll simply give us a function that we can call and then we can find any value that we like. We can put in any x value we want and then we'll get a y value. So first we need to import the interpolate function. To do that, we have to write from scipy.interpolate import inter p1d. Alright, so this is what we have to import. And remember that this is a function. So next we will call the function. So function uh, inter p1d, then x comma y. So this is our original data set. And then we have to specify the kind. So here I have specified quadratic and there are actually multiple kinds to use. For example, linear, nearest, zero, S linear, quadratic, and cubic. So first we'll test out quadratic, then we'll check out the other five. Uh, but yeah, so what this does is that this interpolate function, it performs the interpolation on our data set and it returns a function which is going to be predict. So now predict is actually a Python function. So what we can do is that we can call this function. We can call predict, uh, we can put in an X value and then we'll get a Y value. And yeah, so basically this interpolation function has fitted to the data set and we have gotten a function and we can put in whatever we like and we'll get the correct Y value. So here I have simply specified a few x values. So x2, mp dot line space 0, 10, 100. So what this does is that it basically creates x values starting from 0 and ending at 10, and then there'll be a hundred values. Uh, so yeah, there'll be the interval depends. Uh, but yeah, this function is just calculates that for us. And then what I'll do is that to generate the y values, I'll iterate through the x values using a list comprehension. And the y values will be equal to predict brackets x. So I'm just putting the x value in and I'm getting the y value out. And then I'll simply print out my data. So in the first line, I'm printing out the original data set and then I'm printing out the interpolated function and then I'm showing my plot. So here you can see that this is my end result. So you can see that my kind was quadratic. So we have fitted a quadratic function to our data. So you can see that it has curved very nicely and yeah, it has basically made, fitted a curve to our data set. And I also forgot to mention that in our last line, 
what we do is that we write predict 1.5 so essentially i'm just trying to predict the y value where x is equal to 1.5 so over here you can see that the result is 1.75 1.795 okay so let's try out something like linear so you can see that here the interpolate function has simply joined the two points together and yeah so this function will still give us the values and so the interpolate function basically gives us the values even if it's linear it's, if it's simply joining the two points together it's still a convenient function to use let's try nearest so here what happens is that the x values are rounded off to the nearest integer and that integer is then put into the data set and then we get the result so we get some sort of stepwise result let's try out zero so this is also what we get so here the values are actually rounded down instead of being rounded to the nearest integer is rounded down to the nearest integer and this is s linear so it's pretty similar to linear and yeah so that's pretty much it for interpolation let me just show you the quadratic result because i think this is the most reasonable result so it has just fit a nice curve to our data set and we can get whatever value we like what we can just put in whatever x value that we want and then we'll get the correct y value so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you like this video then please do consider giving a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video